Hello and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Space Marine Primaris Apothecary. He's slightly bigger than the um, Librarian because I think he's got two sprues. He costs the same, £22.50, really cool looking model. Uh, he's got the little uh, squishy sort of sandline grenade from Half-Life 2. Um, <laughs> And here he is. Uh, so you can have him with the helmet uh, on there. He's got uh, a multitude of uh, chirurgeons uh, tools um, and the progen progenoid gland. Um, you can see it just, just a little bit there. Squeeze it and um, all the Primaris are yours to command apparently. Uh, but what I do find cool about this, this model and the apothecary is uh, he's got a different uh, pistol. So you can have an absorber bolt pistol or a reductor bolt pistol. Um, you can have the different heads. It looks like they're different as well. So you can have the syringe or the, the saw, the mini sort of um, chain blade saw thing. But it's got a really nice looking base with this fallen uh, space marine. I don't know whether that's a bit disrespectful that he's just sort of, you know, um, treading on him. Uh, but never mind. Uh, let's have a look. So yeah, £22.50 like I said, same as the other uh, single pose sort of characters that Games Workshop have brought out. And yes, it does, it does come with two sprues. Now this is what I can get behind. Uh, two sprues, detail base, £22.50. I can get behind this much more than like the captain or the librarian or, or the chaplain. Okay, so this model has many, many parts, well over 20 parts. Um, and then it's got the, the rules and things like that. Uh, Ultramarine's only transfer sheet, uh, 32 mil base. All right, let's have a look at the, uh, the sprues. So you've got this detailed base of half of a primary space marine with like a crack in his skull and uh, rubble and an imperial uh, eagle or quilla. And then you've got this, uh, looks like an absorber bolt pistol in there for his leg. And then you've got another um, pouch there, a holster. Uh, there's the absorber bolt pistol. And unlike the chaplain, you've actually got a uh, an apothecary specific power pack with different sort of venting and the uh, the Medicaid sort of symbol. Uh, there's the helmet. And he's got a little uh, searchlight, whatever that's called, and the Medicaid sort of symbol. He's got a skull. Uh, maybe he stole that from the chaplain. Uh, and then you've got the you know, standard bald headed sort of uh, primary space marine head. Um, you've got a little uh, data slate or wrist interface um, system going on there. And then the other sprue has got all the little bits and bobs. So you've got like this long syringe, the uh, sword thing. You've got the little uh, squeaky uh, grenade. Um, you've got a different, that's the reductor pistol. You've got a load of purity seals on some vials. Um, again, another type of syringe thing and some, and these are the parts that go onto the pistol, I believe. Uh, lots of other little little bits and things. You've got a drill there. He really is the dentist of the Space Marines, isn't he? Uh, and then you've got some shoulder pauldrons with a skull and a Medicaid symbol and then another sort of spotlight thing. So yeah, a lot of uh, parts for your money for this one. Uh, and he's quite a decent looking uh, model. So what I'm gonna do is hurriedly go away and build him. Shouldn't take too long. And then uh, join me for the second half of the video uh, where I'll talk about how easy it was to build the model and the rules. So join me in part two. And welcome to part two. So in this part of the video, I'll be looking at the model, explaining how easy, difficult it, he was to build, uh, doing a little size comparison and going through some of the rules. So firstly, this model, I was impressed when I first saw this model, uh, pictures of him, but I'm even more impressed now that he's uh, built. Uh, and he's in the flesh. I think he's a very imposing looking model, uh, very impressive, um, and he was quite uh, straightforward to, to build. And he's got quite a few options, quite, quite a few uh, little bits and things that you can tinker. Um, his pose is gonna be exactly the same, unfortunately, uh, as, as is the same for all these other Primaris, um, you know, single models at the moment. So uh, some of the uh, details and things that I really like about the model is, uh, is these sort of vials that have got purity seals already on them. I like um, these sort of meds with a little injector on them. I like the um, 
pistol holster. There's two of them. At first, I was a bit concerned because I thought, mm, should I equip the uh, absorber pistol or the reductor? In the model description, he's got both of them. So you don't need to worry about that, guys. He's got this little skull here with a number six on it. Uh, his power pack is different to the chaplain's. It's got this little Medicaid symbol. You've got a couple of options for the these, uh, say, weapons, these tools up here. Um, you can either have this drill or a little taser type weapon. Uh, you can have a syringe or you can have a half um, chain blade thing. Uh, the light is the same. I mean, maybe you could fit the other one of these to the other side, possibly. Uh, if you wanted to. Uh, he's got this sort of uh, magnifying glass type thing that's attached to his armour. So he's looking through his lens through that at uh, the little squidgy grenade from Half-Life 2. <laughs> no, it's it's the gland, the progenoid gland in uh, Space Marines, I think it is. Um, yeah, so he's he's clutching one of those. I really like the base too. It's, it's not a scenic base, but it's almost scenic base. It's got this uh, fallen Space Marine. Bit of controversy about him stepping on one of his brothers, especially as on the uh, cover of the box. Uh, he's an Ultramarine's apothecary, and that is an Ultramarine's um, Space Marine. So, yeah, that is a bit odd um, that he's stepping on him, but, uh, oh well. Yeah, so very decent model. Um, quite straightforward and, and uh, simple to build, and... Yes, you can have him with a helmet on or, or not. It's really up to you, a bit like the librarian. I've gone with helmets for all of mine, uh, including the, the captain, so it's quite uh, consistent. What I'll do now is I'll just do a little uh, size comparison. So the only apothecary that I could find, other than my old metal one, um, was this little dude. And uh, my, how times have changed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't help that he's on a little 25 mil base. Um, but yeah, he, he's he's pretty small. Um, and then we compare him to a, a normal Primaris. He's a little bit taller than a normal Primaris, which helps. But I think that's more to do with the, with his base that he's uh, got one one foot higher. Um, but definitely, he he would uh, work well with all you know in and amongst all of your other Primaris Space Marines. Uh, yeah, not so much with your your older Apothecary there. So I hope that size comparison helps. I might as well because I finished him quite recently too. Just compare him next to the uh, Chaplin. He is bigger and more imposing than the Chaplin. Whether he's a cooler model, I think they're both pretty cool models. I love this sort of uh, deep in thought or observation sort of um, pose that, that the apothecaries are in. Your typical poses for Space Marines are aiming guns or charging. So it's nice to have a Space Marine in this... Uh, contemplating um, pose or whatever you want to call it. Now let's have a look at the rules. Like with the chaplain, uh, it's great because the rules for the apothecary come in the little uh, instruction booklet that you get with the model. Um, I'll compare him to the uh, mini apothecary. He is an elite choice, so he's not an NHQ, uh, unlike the other three uh, primaris characters, you know, the chaplain, the captain, and the librarian. So the Primaris Apothecary, his movement is 6 inches, weapon skill is 3+, plus, ballistic skill 3+, plus, strength 4, toughness 4, 5 wounds, 3 attacks, leadership 8, and a save of 3+. Plus. He's a single model with an Absolver Bolt Pistol, a Reductor Pistol, Frag Grenades and Crack Grenades. So the Absolver Bolt Pistol, much like the Chaplin, is a 16 inch range pistol weapon, strength 5, AP minus 1 and damage 1. The Reductor Pistol is only 3 inches, a range which is a very short range uh, pistol um, and its strength is only four however its AP is minus three and its damage is two so it's a very close range pistol but it uh, has the ability to do a fair bit of damage the abilities he has and they shall know no fear and also the Narthesium. At the end of any of your movement phases the apothecary can attempt to heal or revive a single model an infantry model, biker model within three inches. If the unit contains a wounded model, it immediately regains D3 loss wounds. So you don't have to roll anything, just immediately get regains D3 loss wounds. If the unit contains no wounded models, but one or more of its models have been slain during battle, roll a D6. 
on a 4 plus a single slain model is returned to the unit with one ruined remaining if the apothecary fails to revive a model he can do nothing else for the remainder of the turn shoot charge fight etc as he recovers the gene seed from the fallen warrior a unit can only be the target of the Nathesium ability once in each turn so once each turn he can use that Nathesium to either help a model regain d3 lost wounds or he can completely revive uh, a model on a four plus um, with one wound so yeah it's a good trade-off uh, but then it obviously it leaves him him vulnerable but if you've got him in a squad somewhere out of the way i don't know like a devastator squad or an intercessor squad with uh, bolt rifles 30 inches away um he is going to be very vital he's got the wounds too so even if he does get into a little bit of close combat although he doesn't have a power sword or a power weapon or any anything close combat type i mean it would have been nice if uh if his sort of power pack tools could operate like a power weapon or a power fist or something like that. That would have been pretty cool. But unfortunately, in this case, um, he can't do any of that. Unlike the chaplain, who you want to get in quite close um, and uh, with his attacks and his listeners of hate, things like that. So compared to the mini apothecary, the only difference is the number of wounds and the fact that a uh, mini apothecary has a chain sword, which means that each time he fights, he can make an additional one attack with the weapon. So he's pretty much getting four attacks uh, compared to the Primaris Apothecary, which is only getting three. The Mini Apothecary is a power level three, whereas this Primaris is a four. And obviously that means that because he's a Primaris, um, you're not going to be able to transport him in uh, Land Raiders and, and even Rhinos, things like that, where the uh, the other little Apothecary you can do. And they're the only differences, really, other than the Absolver Bolt Pistol. So that's my review of the Primaris Apothecary. A uh, really nice uh, pose that he's in. Um, really excellent model, fantastic uh, pose that the model's in, much better in in, uh, in the flesh. And uh, with the, the things going on with the power pack uh, and all the rest of it, it really begs the question, where is the Primaris Tech Marine? Um, if there are Primaris Apothecaries and Librarians and Chaplains, where on earth are the Primaris Tech Marines? And Games Workshop, hurry up and design and make one. Because I just know that you'll do one justice with a, a new incinerator type um, harness, maybe a little rocket pod on it or something like that. I just think that Mr. Mr. Beat there without a because they obviously can do it, you know, with with this model with the power pack and stuff like that. Maybe he's treading on a Skitari or Cybernetica or something like that. And they could have made a Primaris uh, quad cannon or Thunderfire cannon or something like that. Anyway, that is the end of my review. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.